Well, hello, and thank you for tuning in to TrueSetFreeTV.com. Uh, I'm Vincent Rhodes, your host, and uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, the special news that's re being developed that there are about a thousand people uh, that are being told to self-isolate in California as a result of them being exposed to the people of Wuhan, China. And so uh, this was um, put on the Twitter, and I kind of expanded it for you so you can see it. Now, again, the guys, I don't know whether or not this is true. Uh, I don't know anything uh, more than what is being reported in the news, so please don't get on me and say, well, you know, Vincent Rose is fear-mongering. All I'm doing is really just reporting what is being said. It, You know, it's up to you whether or not you're going to be afraid of what's going on or not be afraid. I'm not trying to get you afraid. As a matter of fact, our faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ. But we do realize that, again, with these uh, world elite there is an agenda to uh, reduce the population, to bring people under control, and to do a number of things uh, that are psyops in order to get us to um, uh, trust the government and then blindly follow whatever they tell us to follow. Anyway, I'm going to let you this report. Are trying to contain the spread of this deadly strain of the coronavirus. Now, right now, the number of people infected continues to grow. McCullough Medina live in the newsroom with the very latest numbers. McCullough? Hi, good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. We are closely watching a new development right here in L.A. County. Health officials closely monitoring more than 1,000 people who had traveled to mainland China recently. They've been told to self-isolate, not go to work, not go to school for 14 days. This development comes as a death toll now rises more than 1,100 people worldwide, with 97 of those cases within the last 24 hours in China. Round. Isn't that something? So uh, we're looking at uh, the people being told to self-isolate uh, 1,000 people, even if they are uh, told to self-isolate then we really do need to be concerned because what if this even gets broader, more broader? And from what I understand, they're, they're projecting that the numbers right now are around 60,000 people uh, that have been impacted by the coronavirus, but they have a map that even uh, goes into the hundreds of thousands. It doesn't matter what they say. Basically, it's what they are able to get people to believe and uh, when they're able to get people to believe these things, then people panic and they begin to uh, do things that are irrational. And so I'm looking at like, um, you know, stores closing down, the uh, stock market going crazy because of the uh, supplies that come from China uh, being held up. Uh, from what I understand, Beijing was hit uh, with um, a major quarantine of, of some sort. And then uh, we have uh, just so many different uh, countries around the world that are being affected by this. We're talking about worldwide uh, impact of um, various um, th people around, uh, all around us who actually will be impacted to, uh, you know, impact uh, the commerce and the business that we do, the schools that uh, the kids are attending. Right now, even in China, there are schools that are empty right now because of this. Who knows? I don't know why uh, this happened. It seems to happen at a convenient time when people were riding. I've read some comments that say that it was a, a biological weapon to keep, um, you know, the, the people from rising up. Uh, who knows what reason why they are uh, this deadly weapon showed up at this particular time or this deadly virus. Uh, but uh, again, I don't even know whether it is a real virus. I can say that they are saying it's here in the United States and they are getting prepared with the FEMA camps and the rest to start uh, herding people into the cities and quarantine them. Well, also, not knowing that it's a real virus, this just in um, this report about Google, uh, this seems to be something that's being tweeted out about um, the, there's an infodemic uh, of information that's coming out about the coronavirus. And the uh, organization, the World Health Organization, is urging the tech companies to take a tougher stand or to battle against fake news on the coronavirus. Now, <clears throat> who says that the uh, news is fake, really? Um, 
it, it's up to you to determine that. But uh, this person here, Grace uh, at Really Graceful, uh, tweeted this out, and I just think that again, yeah, well, uh, this is exactly uh, the way the psyops are run, and they are run basically by, um, you know, Hegelian tactics where they will play, give us an emergency, and then give us the solution, right? So uh, basically, they create a problem, then problem, and uh, then there's the solution. And so there's the problem, reaction, and solution. And basically, uh, that's what they are trying to do here. This also uh, points to how they want to censor the internet. And the internet uh, should be free where people have their own opinions and use their own minds. Uh, but again, here we are looking at a lot of things that are changing around here. So uh, even though they are, uh, there, there's a chance that the coronavirus could go and fizzle out, just like I said before, uh, there are still, there is a still a chance that we're going to be left with lasting consequences from what is going on that may infringe upon more freedoms for Americans. Currently in Wuhan, China, they are actually sealing people into their apartments. And from what I understand, there are many people that are being carried away in vans and carried to places, unknown destinations. There have been uh, even people who said that they've seen heat signatures from the air uh, showing that uh, bodies are being burned. Who knows what's going to happen? Is this the great um, time when the Lord talks about in the end of the apocalypse? Uh, where there will be a uh, major pestilence and uh, this is what the Bible talks about that there would be pestilence in the earth is this is this the actual time uh, for that or, or are we just looking at something like what we had before uh, with Ebola and the other things like SARS that all just kind of disappeared and fizzled out uh, I don't really know I'm not trying to fear monger I'm just trying to report the Put the matter to you again what I would recommend to you is that you be prepared uh, go to um, you know your local store and get what you need you know to have uh, plenty of food and water who knows you may have to like make a uh, an escape from the city uh, if this thing turns sideways and people uh, begin to get these uh, notifications that they need to stay in their houses and that kind of thing they're currently doing that right now and California where it's a thousand people have been told to just self-quarantine what's the next step from this from self-quarantine you know so anyway it's on my face it's on my Twitter account uh, you can go over there and check out the Twitter I put up a lot of different stuff on Twitter you can also remember to go over to uh, Vincent Rhodes live and just go ahead and use my link which is shop Vincent Rhodes and uh, if you need to buy anything from Amazon back upon what you need and uh you know and then pray and we, that's the best we can do and again it may just fizzle out just like i said uh with uh the sars and the other things that they have been trying to plan it may, this may just be one of those things remember until next time that jesus is the light of the world and the truth will set you free god bless <music>